I'm Shue, and I'm currently working in Japan at the Kyushu National Museum as a coordinator for international relations under the JET program. Year one, after the first semester, I got to go on a field studies trip with Japanese studies department, and it was the fashion and business module in Tokyo, so we had so much fun going around all the fashionable places and asking people about their consumption habits and what they wear, where they got them from. I've always had so many chances to talk to new people, be it the people on the street that we stop and ask them about their lives or be it with the students that we hang out with as part of the course. Ever since I started working in Japan, actually one of my most fruitful relationships here has been with this um, Japanese couple that I met at a udon shop. It's more like, oh, I need to sit here, you know, and then she was like, oh, I'm gonna move my bag so you can sit here, and then we just started talking from there. They've brought me to a temple that their friend owns and to their neighborhood and it's been so, so lovely experiencing the neighbourhood through the, the way that the locals see it. And I really do feel like they've included me as part of their community. I'm so lucky to have that. Yeah. When you're forced out of your comfort zone, when you put aside all your fears and self-consciousness of like, oh, how might the other person react? And you just put those aside and you approach a person as they really are, it's, it's so rewarding sometimes. There's so many faculties to take different modules from and try things that you don't know you're like. Like you're studying economics, why not take a literature module? And if you're studying literature, why not take a module in sociology? I don't know, like it could be fun. Yeah, you never know. Also make use of all the resources that NUS has. You know, like if you want to learn a language, there's no better time. Yeah. <laughs>